Bongo Java has been at the forefront of Nashville's coffee movement since the beginning and Crema is one of our city's newcomers. Their coffee may taste different, but both establishments purchase directly from small-scale farmers, ensuring quality and adherence to fair trade practices. I'm Heidi Jewell and this is You Ought to Know Nashville. Bongo Java put Nashville's coffee scene on the map in 1993 here on Belmont Boulevard. Let's go check out their coffee shop and brand new roasting facility. It's uh, where the coffee comes from and we feel good about the coffee because we're buying directly from small scale farmers. It's not that we're saving money by going direct, we're putting more money in the farmer's pocket. We pay well above the, the quote unquote fair trade price. So that's, it's not like we're saving money. It's buying direct, it's buying organic, so we're not putting chemicals out in the world. It's better for you, it's better for the world, we feel. And we take the care to, to roast it in small batches and to roast each coffee differently. We test every batch of coffee, because each, each time you buy Guatemalan coffee, it's gonna taste different, no matter if you're buying from the same farms. So we take the care to, to roast it to that level. We're not just saying, let's roast everything the same so it all tastes the same. We're, we don't care about consistency, we care about quality. And I think their part of it is truthfully hanging out in a cool atmosphere, which we try to do, it makes coffee taste better. I think this community has grown tremendously in 20 years. I remember the first time another coffee place opened, I was scared to death, oh, there's half my business leaving me. Another place would open, another place would open, and, you're like, and our business kept growing, and you realize that we're all sort of helping each other in different ways. Each place reflects their neighborhood, and that's a good thing and I'm no longer worried about that. And I think it's, it's great that there's so many places going on and we're learning from each other, we're teaching each other, and in a lot of ways we're helping each other. In 2008, Crema opened right here in historic Rutledge Hill. Let's go watch their roasting process and try some of their specialty coffees. We have become very hypersensitive to our product and so it's good in one sense um, that we're, con we're very hard on the coffees that we choose um, and we're very careful about the relationships that we have um, with those farms and where we're getting them sourcing and then um, we're very careful with the care of it once the coffee is here, the green coffee um, and then the roasting process we're very careful as far as you know being very tedious about tracking everything as well as we do cup every production roast, we taste everything, we do scrutinize everything that we do <laughs> um, to a point this gets a little ridiculous sometimes and then also from there it's to the shop I mean brewing coffee is a whole art and science as well so it's you can't treat each coffee the same. Um, we know that with roasting that each coffee is different and we have to pay attention to that when we're doing the roasting. And then as well as brewing, like we have to pay attention to the product and, and make sure, I hate to even say that it's a product, I mean it's always changing as it ages throughout its time from processing, it changes. And so we're very aware of those things and trying to be very sensitive to that and adjust with it as it happens. Coffee is like a window, it gets smaller from the farm to the barista, so there are 12, 15 different ways you can mess it up. And so for us it's like, how can we at each step make sure that we're training the right people to do the job to, to make sure that the end cup is really good. We try to have like a different selection so everything's not exactly the same, but we're looking for very clean coffees, coffees that showcase very specific cup characteristics. Um, so we can highlight that with, uh, with our roasting. And so we hope that you never taste our roasting. The roasting should only highlight the coffee. Um, so, since we're buying such high quality, high grown, high altitude coffees, that is our goal, is to really represent the people that put the hard work into the coffee at the farm level. How can we make sure that we're not getting in the way of what people can actually taste in their cup? 